Thanks for logging into MyFoxHurricane.com. I'm meteorologist Dave Osterberg, and here we go again with Hurricane Delta into the Gulf of Mexico. Now, much earlier, I mean, it was like 11 o'clock in the morning, there was an eye that poked out for a brief period of time, the sign of a maturing hurricane, an intensifying hurricane, and then it kind of went shrouded back over by the cloud cover. So if this storm continues to intensify, it should be done at a relatively slow rate throughout the rest of the afternoon and into the evening hours. And, you know, right now it's a Category 2 storm, but the potential does exist for it to become a major hurricane again, either later tonight or early tomorrow morning. And the storm has had a history of intensifying, but yet not showing a discernible eye. So I don't want to necessarily say, oh, it's not intensifying that much because of the eye, because you, you still have a very strong Category 2 hurricane and perhaps a Category 3 hurricane before later tonight or tomorrow morning. That is the forecast. It, it, the water temperatures are warm. The wind shear right now is light. The forecast path not going to change. We know this is headed into Louisiana as many systems have either threatened or hit Louisiana, of course, including Hurricane Laura, which about six weeks ago decimated southwest Louisiana. There are thousands of homes with blue tarps still on their roof. And here we go again as they're going to get another hurricane, another hurricane working its way out of the Gulf and into southern Louisiana. So by the time it reaches the coast, though, it's going to enter an area with some cooler, shallower water. And that may weaken the storm a little bit. So let's say we wake up tomorrow morning and it's a major hurricane. Well, then... Notice the water temperatures right off the coast of Louisiana, 76, 77 degrees. That will likely allow the storm to weaken a little bit before landfall. I don't think it'll make a massive difference, but we'll take anything we can get. With a system like this, as far as the wind speeds go, I think tropical storm force winds will be felt in South Louisiana more than likely by early tomorrow morning. So they've got a pretty long duration event beginning tomorrow morning and then probably going through late tomorrow night and into Saturday morning as well. Of course, in addition to the winds, you got a storm surge to deal with, and the strongest storm surge will be well to the right of where it makes landfall, which will likely make some of the storm surge, the highest storm surge, over toward areas around, say, Vermilion Bay or so, 7 to 11-foot storm surge, and 4 to 7-foot storm surge in and around Cameron Parish. I'll tell you what, the computer models are all in agreement at this northward then northeastward turn and eventually making landfall in almost the same spot that Hurricane Laura did just six weeks ago. That's the very latest on Delta. Stick around. We'll have more later. And thanks for logging on to uh, MyFoxHurricane.com.